We have to think about things as a family. We first met Day One when they were working on the port of the Fear One PC game to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. One of the things that we wanted to make sure we leveraged was the established relationship that we had with Monolith when we had done some of the work for them on the ports and making sure that the original Fear has that same experience that was great on the PC and we bring it to the consoles. And what they talked to us about was focusing on very, very good AI, focusing on horror, and then focusing on combat. We had friends there, we knew them, we had a good relationship, and we leveraged that as we went and worked on Fear 3. When we thought about what Fear 3 should become, we started talking with Day One in about 2008 about how can we evolve this franchise and really capture the essence of what it is, but growing it into something that's bigger, something that's more amazing and delivers a better experience for the consumer. Monolith and Day One coming together to work together on Fear 3 has been a really interesting process because you think about it as almost two teams. But the reality is, is that what we wanted to do was make sure we had one team, that we brought the best parts of Monolith and their understanding of the Fear franchise, and then we marry it with Day One's expertise in mech combat and combat in general. Day One is able to take that experience and bring it into Fear, because Fear has mech combat. And so we set up a lot of meetings between the two studios to share that experience. We shared a lot of ideas about how to create good horror for video games to properly scare the player, to create that great tension, to create that awesome type of atmosphere that puts the player on edge.